Okay. What's up, guys? Hope everyone's day is going well. Um, my name is Fatty Manzi, if you guys don't know me already. So uh, this is one of my great clients, Brenda Bravo. Brenda, say hello. Hi, everyone. Cool, guys. So um, we are streaming from a different platform. So guys, if you do want to pop any questions or anything like that, just pop them in the comments. Um, I'll be able to, <clears throat> excuse me, I'll be able to see it. Um, and then like, if you have any questions for myself or Brenda, um, also just pop them in the comments and we'll get to it as soon as we can. Um, so Brenda has lost, um, Brenda has lost two pant sizes. She's down 13 pounds. She's down six inches. And, um, sh most importantly, guys, like she's been able to maintain this. And I think a lot of people, they get to their goal and they're never able to like maintain that goal. And Brenda has been able to do this, uh, even throughout the holidays, even with the crazy hectic and busy, uh, lifestyle. So I kind of, I kind of want to talk about that with you, Brenda. And um, let's just start by giving the audience a bit of a backstory on like who you are, what you do for work, and like, you know, where are you from? We'll just start there. Absolutely. All right, everyone. So Brenda Bravo, I'm uh, 34 years old, and I have a very, very busy um, career. I'm actually a principal of an elementary school. So basically, that means I work 24-7. Uh, um, I can get phone calls you know, very late at night, super early in the morning texts. And I just have to be on 24 seven um, weekends, including weekends. Sometimes, you know, you get that call that alarm goes off at school or whatnot. So it's definitely very busy. And then I have three daughters. Um, I was a teen mom. So I have a 17 year old, a 14 year old and a four year old. So as you can imagine, I'm constantly running around and trying to keep up with their, their busy schedules as well. So um yeah, just I'm, I'm a super busy person. I uh, live here in Oxnard. And yeah, anything else? Did I miss anything? No, no, I think you got it. So like super busy lifestyle. I think um, I think a lot of people like they they restrict themselves from wanting to get in better shape or just um, wanting to like, yeah, wanting to get in better shape or wanting to just start feeling healthier because they lead such a hectic and busy lifestyle. And your complete proof that it can be done um, when you really just like set a, set time aside for yourself. And we'll kind of talk about that. Um, mm -hmm. Actually, yeah. Well, can you touch on that? Because I know that was like one of your, yeah. your biggest concerns when you started. You're like, I just don't have any time, but you wanted to make a change. So like, what was the, what was the difference? Like what happened? Yes. So absolutely. So I, you know, like I said, live such a busy lifestyle. And I thought there's no way like I already don't have enough time I felt for anything, you know, any, any hobbies, any extracurriculars, anything else. And so I was very hesitant to even, you know, think about um, taking care of myself and, and starting a fitness journey. Um, but I have three daughters. And I thought to myself, like, if I continue on this path of not taking care of myself, there might come a point where I'm not going to be able to take care of my daughters because I'm not taking care of myself. Like I'm, if I'm not healthy and I'm not in a good state of mind and, and, and feel happy, like how can I make them happy? How can I, you know, take care of them if I'm not doing it for myself? So, you know, when you're, when you're here in a plane, they're like, you know, put your, your mask on first and then do everyone else. Because if you don't take care of yourself, you can't take care of anyone else. And I kind of got myself into that mindset you know, after talking to you, Fatty, and I realized like, okay, I, there needs to come a point where I need to put myself first a little bit um, and really take care of me. So I think that's what did it for me, that being scared of um, losing myself in this vicious cycle of gaining and losing weight and then not being healthy and not mentally, you know, being ready and um, emotionally there for my daughters as well. Because it was, I, I'd be tired all the time and I yeah. wouldn't do anything. So um, I, I just felt like a, a change needed to be made in order for me to really enjoy my girls and enjoy, um, enjoy life. Yeah. I, that's huge. What you said right now. Like, I think the first thing that you said was um, if I don't take care of myself now, I'm going to get to a point where I might not be able to take care of them. 
And I think that that was huge. Like that was like a big eye opener for me to hear out loud. Like I know it, right? But just like hearing it out loud is huge. And I think um, a lot of people can take away from that because like I know I always say, like I'm sure you always hear me say it to you and, and the group is just like, you know, like life doesn't slow down, right? And if anything right now it gets crazier and busier <laughs> with social media, Absolutely. we're more connected, you know? So it's like, um, it's just, it becomes more demanding, right? So if you're not able to take care of yourself, the people that you care for, you might not be able to take care of them. Although you think that you're, you're, you know, you're making time for them. That, that was huge. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. So <clears throat> yeah. before, before you and I started working together, Brenda, um, like you were stuck, like, what was your biggest struggle? What was your biggest struggle in your fitness journey? <laughs> I think all the crazy diets that I would try. Um, what did you, you, know, what did you try? I, um, share, I, share, with, <laughs> share with everybody because I'm sure you're you're definitely not alone in this. So, like, what yeah. are some things that you've tried? I did the, of course, the like, I'm just going to run. I'm just going to run all the time. And, like, I played soccer when I was younger and my knees aren't, like, the best. And it was just, like, too much. It was, like, I, I, would, I wasn't able to sustain it. Like, I would run and, and do a great job. I would lose weight. But I'd look like that skinny fat where it was just, like, skinny but not fit and mm -hmm. um and then I would gain the weight like as soon as I'd stop running it was like whoop, weights back um and I also tried um this program with uh shakes so isogenics and I tried it and yeah absolutely I think it was insane I lost 16 pounds in one month um but I think that was too drastic and of yeah. course I gained I gained it all back even quicker and then some um, so it was just this vicious cycle of like, okay, I'm going to do it again for a few months. I would lose weight and then I'd get tired of it because all I would eating, all I would be eating was shakes and cleansing and not eating. Like I literally would not eat for one or two days at a time. And yeah, I would lose the weight. But then again, as soon as I stopped, I gained it all back. Um, keto, I think I tried for a little bit. Um, <clears throat> not my thing, not my thing. Um, and then I tried, I think I made this joke to you. I, I tried being vegetarian for like one day, and like uh, the next, my sister and I were like, we're going to go vegetarian. And then the next day we went to a party and they had tacos. And I was like, no, screw that. Like I, no I need, I need my tacos. I need my tacos. So, um, so yeah, just, I think the, the biggest struggle is that like vicious cycle of like losing the weight and gaining the weight and losing the weight and gaining the weight. And it's just stressful. It, it was just super stressful. And it wasn't it wasn't something I could maintain. I didn't feel like it was like it was gonna be a long, like a long journey for me, like something that I could, you know, see myself doing for the rest of my life. Yeah. Yeah. It's funny you say that. Um, because I always hear like on my end, I always hear people say like, I know what I need to do. I just need to do it. That's why like I write so many posts about it. Because um, it drives me crazy low key, <laughs> but, <laughs> but like, you know, for example, like, uh, you know, like you said, what, what was the program? Isogenics. You lost like 16 mm -hmm. pounds in a month and it's like one month. Yeah. So it's like, you know what you need to do, but that's what you, that's what you know, right? You know, mm -hmm. this extreme way. And because you know, this extreme way, that's what builds these bad eating habits and like, you know, can build eating disorders and whatnot. So it's like, yeah, you may know what to do, but that might not be the best thing for you. Like, yeah, it's mm -hmm. going to make you lose weight, but that might not be the healthiest thing for you. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so um, this, this question coming up is going to be funny because I remember you and I spoke for like, I think we we're going back and forth for a few months. <laughs> <laughs> she already knows. What's yes. happening. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. So, so I was like messaging Brenda for a few months back and forth and she kept on ghosting me. Um, <laughs> and I'm like, so what I want to know, like when you first met, when, like when we first were speaking or whatnot, what was your initial hesitation with deciding to work with me? I was like online. What do you mean? Like, what does that even mean? Like, I'm what? Like, I just yeah. couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't put it into like my head of how it would work. And I thought, there's no way, like, there's no way that somebody from a distance is going to be able to guide me and help me with my like nutrition and fitness. And um, I was just like, this is a scam. Like, honestly, that that was my initial thought. Like, yeah. I don't know this guy, like, he's friends with some of my friends, but I don't know, like, I see some people and I know them and results. But like, is this another like, 
isogenic thing where it's like uh-huh. going to be this vicious cycle and I can't really keep up with it. I just didn't understand what it entailed. And I, I think I was just afraid that it wasn't going to work. It, that was my biggest hesitation. Like I've tried so many things. What makes me think this is going to work? Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. And I think <clears throat> when we see that a lot online, right, it's like we, there's so many things online. So it's kind of funny that you said that because um, <laughs> I, I mean, I, I had a feeling, right. <clears throat> that that's what you were, th- that's what you were going to say, but um yeah like I so your biggest hesitation was one how is it going to work for me online Mm -hmm. with somebody like me with somebody not being there right that's Mm -hmm. one and then the other hesitation was just like what is this (laughs) is this real is this a scam what's going on absolutely yeah Yeah, absolutely yes for sure cool 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 cool. yeah (laughs) yeah and I think no totally normal totally normal um, uh, I just think it's funny because like now we're what, like seven, seven months. I think we're almost at eight. I think we're almost okay. at eight months. Yeah. So we're like at eight months working together. Um, <clears throat> and so going from like, I don't know if this is going to work. This is a scam to working eight months together now. Um, tell us some mm-hmm. results, um, that you have accomplished with us working together. Sure. So just to go back really quick. So I, I think I had spoke spoke to you like sometime in like October last, last year, year. Okay. and then we spoke in <clears throat> December and I was still like well, I don't yeah. know um and then finally decided I think at the end of March um that's yeah. when we spoke and we started working you just, together you just messaged me and you're like all right let's I'm do ready this. I'm like, ready I I, I was now ready. then I had my suspicions I was like wait a minute <laughs> <laughs> what changed um again again I think I think for me it was like okay, like, if I don't do it now, then when, like, when is it gonna, when is it going to be a good time? You know, th- yeah. there's never going to be a good time. Go over there, sweetie. I'll be right back. And then, um, so results. Okay. So we started working. Were with, you like, going to, sorry, I, sorry to cut you off, but you were, were you yeah. going to say something about. Oh, what, like what, what made me decide to do it? Yeah. I think you were going to touch on that. But yeah, so sorry, my, no, my daughter interrupted me. I told her to give me a minute <laughs> and she's like running around like crazy over here. Um, yeah, so I think for me, it was it was that. It was just like, I came to the realization that there's never gonna be the right moment. You know, we, we've we talked about this in, in previous calls um, these past few weeks, you know, people wait until the New Year's to say, Type okay, that in the comments, year, guys. me. Type that in the comments, guys. There's <laughs> never gonna be a right moment. There's never gonna be a right moment. Everybody type no. that in the comments. Nope. And work had just gotten like super crazy, um, you know, the pandemic and like everything. And I just said, I'm going to come out of this pandemic one of two ways, like 30 pounds heavier or 30 pounds lighter. And I decided to choose that 30 pounds lighter and I'm, I'm working on it. And yeah, the results um, that, you know, that leads straight into the results. So yes, yeah, so I've lost, um, I think over 13 pounds and been able to keep it off. Um, in a healthy way, I feel like I eat so much food. I think at the beginning, I told you, I was like, I can't finish my dinner. Like I am just so full. So I had to literally heat up like half of it, eat it and then like do chores around the house and then eat the other half because I was like, this is too much food for me. And I didn't understand how eating that much food was going to help me lose weight. It was so counterintuitive. Um, and so, uh, you know, but it works. Um, it works. What, whatever magic you do, it works. <laughs> and um, so, yeah, you, so, so you were uh, you were hesitant because um, because a lot of people when they start a training plan. So two things, right? When they start a training or a nutrition plan, when they start a training plan, they think they need to go from doing like nothing to going like six or seven days a week. You were saying you were doing running, so you probably had that in your mind to we started working out three days a week, if you remember, Mm -hmm. and then eating a lot more than you probably thought you were eating and we were still dropping. Um, So I think that's like important to note because a lot of people think they got to go on. I think a lot of people get intimidated when they want to, you know, whether they do with myself, a coach or just on their own, they think they have to go in extremes, Mm -hmm. but extremes is always usually leads to failure. Right. So like, um <clears throat> with you doing that you were able to eat more mm-hmm. start eating foods you love and what what were you going to mention right now um you know the, so there's that and then just feeling so much more energetic um like i said having three daughters and especially with the little one with the 4 year old she she keeps me on my toes and so 
it's just, you know, we're always like super busy and on the go. And I, I before I felt like I, w- I just didn't have the energy. I would come home from work and I literally would fall asleep on the couch. Like that's how exhausted I was. I didn't have the energy to do anything. And surprisingly enough, like I wake up, uh, I, I tell you just because of my choosing, not because I have to, but I give myself that really early morning time because I want to spend my evenings with my girls, with my daughters. And so um, I work out super early in the morning. So I wake up super early um, and then I get ready, go to work, come home, and I still have energy to keep going until bedtime. So um, I'm still sleeping my eight, you know, seven, eight hours a, um, a night because we know sleep is important. Um, but just that energy, like I don't know where it comes from because I thought working out in the morning so early, waking up so early, I'm going to be dead by the time I come home and be exhausted and not want to do anything. But it definitely is very different. Like I I feel like I have more energy than I've ever had. And um, that's been really, really neat to see. And I'm just happier. Like people just tell me all the time, like, Oh, my God, you look so good. You look so happy. And so um, of course, you know, we I went into it, like I said, to to have that that energy to, um, to feel better, um, and to to be able to keep up with my daughters. Um, but I'm I'm not gonna lie, like looking good also helps. Like it doesn't, yeah. it doesn't hurt. So just getting all those the compliments from people and like, oh my god, you look amazing. Like, what are you doing? And so you know, it's just it's good. That that's definitely a, a very nice feeling. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, um, I think a lot of people shy away from like the aesthetic when it comes to a transformation. A lot of people, uh, whether it's like they mean to or not, but a lot of people shy away from the aesthetic part of like, when you start taking care of your health, like Mm -hmm. your body is kind of like a spitting mirror image of how you treat yourself and how you treat your body. Um, Mm -hmm. And yeah, when you when you look at when you look better, you feel better, right? And when you feel better, you perform better. Um, Deion Sanders, look good, feel good, play good. Um, <laughs> so, so yeah, I mean, I think a lot of people shy away from that. And even though um, I know that was like kind of part of part of like why we wanted to do it, but it was more so like your health reasons. Um, but something to kind of talk about or to kind of um, piggyback off that is that it is a byproduct, right? Like how you look is a byproduct of how you treat your body and um, your fitness <laughs> and your nutrition and all of that. So like, I'm glad that you brought that up. Um, and I think you were already touching on this, but like outside of, outside of like training, right. Outside of us training together and like the fitness aspect in general, what would you say has been the biggest changes that you've seen in your life? Um, I think just being so much more positive, like before it was kind of like, I can't do this or, to you know just this negativity of like I can I don't want to I'm too tired I'm too exhausted and just like that that energy that I have I think just has changed my perspective and made me a more definitely more positive person like this morning I woke up and I told you I was like I'm not feeling the best but I still woke up and I was like I gotta get my workout in so I I got up and I got my workout in I got my cardio or more than half of it done this morning and like okay I got this meal prepped yesterday and um, have all my meals ready to go. And yeah, just this definitely more positive outlook on life. And um, that definitely, you know, channels into everything that I do. Because if I'm, if I'm happy, and I'm ready to go, and I feel energetic and, um, and positive, then I, you know, definitely um, um, share that with my daughters at home. And then also at work, because I'm happy, I'm going to work, and I'm excited to, you know, to get going on my day, uh, versus just feeling miserable and not comfortable in my own skin. And, being all gloomy and gloopy (laughs) yeah yeah definitely like how you feel uh internally and externally like translates into a lot of people don't think this like they think like oh i got a good poker face but it really translates into how you treat others and how Mm -hmm. and even like you're saying like how you do your work right like you said your coworkers or and and employees or whatnot are, are noticing it so yeah yeah i think that's that's a that's a another big um you know side uh you know another big um uh side effect of of being like having a healthier version of you and yourself um yeah so you so you're feeling better you have more energy um 
you've made time, right? Like you can't find time, guys. You make time, right? So mm-hmm. you've, you've made time for yourself. Um, you've made time to work out. And because you've made time, um, you're down. You're down. Uh, I don't think you talked about it enough, but you're down. <laughs> you're down two pant sizes. You're down over 13 mm-hmm. pounds. You're down six inches off your hips. Mm-hmm. Um, I think a little bit more than six, six and a half, I think. But like you're down six, six inches off your hips. You've been able to maintain this, right? You didn't mm-hmm. lose all this weight and gain it back. Um, and all this being able to do it when you initially were like, I don't think that I have time for myself, right? So yep. Um, for, <laughs> so guys, if you do have any questions for Brenda or myself, just pop them in the comments and I'll, I'll go back uh, and answer them if they're live and if they're on replay, um, we'll get to it on replay. If you watch on replay, put hashtag replay. Um, so Brenda, like for all that being said, like all these accomplishments that you've done and um, this journey that, that you've gone along as far as like being able to eat tacos now and still lose weight <laughs> and, and um, still making like changes to your body, your physique, your body composition. Um, for anybody that's listening to this right now, thinking about starting their own fitness journey, like what's something that you would say to them? I said it earlier, there's never going to be the right moment. You're never going to feel like, okay, I'm ready. This is it. Um, so you have to, um, you have to just make that choice, make that decision and just go for it and trust that, you know, trust the process. Um, I, I could have gone a few more months without messaging you and saying, Hey, I'm ready to go. But that would have put me so much further behind. Was I ready? Probably not, but I was never going to be ready. There's never that that right moment to to jump in. So, you know, if you really want to feel like the best version of yourself, like just just take that leap of faith and just do it because there's never going to be that right moment. And life's only going to get crazier and heck more hectic as you as you grow up and things get complicated and things come up and you just have to learn how to deal with things and 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 deal with situations as they come up. But um, definitely make time for yourself because we're we're definitely um, like, especially females as moms, you know, we like to put everyone before ourselves. And that's what I did for years. Um, but then we quickly realized like, okay, if I'm not taking care of myself, I can't, I can't keep up with taking care of everyone else without taking care of myself first. That, that was my, my, my turning point for sure. Yeah. So it was like, um, yeah, that that's huge. Like you guys cannot, everybody type that in the comments. I can't stress that enough. You cannot take care of yourself if or sorry you cannot take care of everyone else if you don't take care of yourself like i cannot stress that enough because life keep get keep keeps getting busier and more hectic and Mm -hmm. there's gonna be more stuff like i i think uh i think the pandemic like or stay at home or whatnot i think proved it more than anything because when people started working from home they actually started probably working more (laughs) than when they were working Mm -hmm. at the office or whatnot um so, and that being said, like employers are going to take advantage of that. So, <laughs> um, so like, yeah, I think, you know, if you are not able to take care of yourself, you're never going to be able to take care of even those people that you think that you're sacrificing the time for right now. Like you're not going to be able to take care of them. And even if you are, it's not going to be to the best of your own capacity. Right. Yeah. It's going to be Absolutely. like a, like a half ass version of yourself. Right. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Um, okay. So um, before I ask you, I'll ask you one last question. Then, if you want to uh, say anything, um, feel free. And guys, again, if you want to, if you want, if you have any questions for Brenda, just type them in the comments. We'll get back to you after. Um, so <clears throat> we didn't we didn't touch too much um, about like the flexibility of nutrition, but in training. But I know you've learned a lot. So like with all the information that you've learned uh, in this short time that we've worked together, if I were to ask you, like, um, how much money would I have to give you in order to take away the knowledge that you've learned? What would you say? Uh, No, thank you. (laughs) No, I'm good. I'm good. Um, Like I said, I think um, I, I, I said, I have said this to you before, Fatty. And um, I feel like definitely like a new person, like you help, turn around a very vicious cycle of just me not taking care and putting myself as a priority. And I've just learned so much um, 
about nutrition, so much about, you know, um, fitness and I would not trade it for anything. I think it's, it's so important to, to learn how to do things the right way and how to take care of myself, because I feel like had I not done this, I don't know. I don't know where I'd be right now, especially with the pandemic hitting, like I working from home being more stressed than ever. And then working through the summer, I, there's no way I would have stressed eaten everything in my path and I wouldn't be where I am today in terms of, of my, my fitness journey. So no, thanks. I'm good. I'll, I'll keep my knowledge <laughs> and um, keep moving forward. Um, you know, I signed up for another year with you and I'm so looking forward to what that, that has to bring for us. And um, sometimes, you know, we get caught up in, in the scale, but I look at pictures and I look at like the way my clothes fits and the way my body has changed and, I wouldn't change that for the world. Like I, I'm, I'm super happy with the progress so far, and and look forward to what, what another year of working with you will yeah. will bring. So super excited to to move forward. I'm excited too. I can't wait to see what the new year brings, and maybe we'll be here next year talking talking about like uh, your your new transformation at that point. So I'm super excited. Yeah. Um, thank you, thank you so much. That means a lot. What you just said means a lot. I did not expect that. <laughs> Appreciate <laughs> it. Um. Yeah. Do you have anything to to leave us with or anything that you want to mention before we get out of here? Um, no, just not... thank just thank you so much for everything, for literally transforming my life, not only physically, but like emotionally, mentally. And I've referred so many friends to you and I know some of them are, are working with you now and I'm super happy for them and super excited for their transformations as well. So, again, if you're hesitant, don't don't be just just do it life changing so you. just thanks again coach appreciate thank it. you of course i appreciate you guys um really quick in the comments say thank you to brenda for taking time out of her day out of her hectic busy day i'm sure you hear the kids um so like guys please um say thank you to brenda for uh taking time out of her busy day and hectic schedule um to join us today um i super appreciate you from the bottom of my heart thank you for joining me today <laughs> And um, I'll be talking to you soon. Guys, if you have any questions, uh, just type them in the comments. If you're watching on replay, put hashtag replay. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you so much, Brenda, for your time. Hope you guys all have an amazing rest of your day. And we'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye.